to the left, blue to the right, and Patriots in the pool. Welcome to our 10th anniversary edition of Athletes in Action. I'm your host, Wiley Baker, and along with my cameraman and director, Eric Cloyd, we're making another visit to the beautiful North Arundel Aquatic Center. Let's plunge in with the Old Mill Patriots swim team, head coach Ellen Hayes and assistant coach Katie Barry. In honor and memory of two wonderful physical education teachers, coaches and mentors for Anne Arundel County Public Schools, my mom, Dee Baker, whose high school colors were also red, white, and blue, and her good friend, former Old Mill Athletic Director, Craig White, for whom our AACPS Sportsmanship Award is named, this Patriots Swim Squad floats on family for its growing success. This year's group has been so much fun. There's never been a dull day of practice, which can get a little crazy sometimes, but they're so fun. This is a really special group of kids. Well, I think this team is really good because all of our players, they're diverse. They each bring in a different attribute to the table. And we have just great people. The coach is great too. She boosts our confidence every day and makes us want to swim. So it's always fun to see like all their PRs, their time drop, their time drops, their swim progress. It's amazing to see that. It's definitely very united. Everyone's such good friends, and you know we try, we practice together, we build together, and we win together. So it's it's really just a big community. It's a very close knit bond between all of us. You know we have team dinners, we do bowling sometimes. It's like. It's just, where it's like a family, you know? Old Mill Swimming has pride and passion, and the excitement has this group freestyling to new lengths. It's so fun, and I tell the kids that are new every year, like once you get into the meet setting, you're gonna understand how fun this sport is, and it's just so exciting watching them like get out of the water on their first race, and they're like, I dropped time, I did this. We have a bunch of diversity, different backgrounds, different cultures, it's really nice to see so many different people from everywhere being able to swim and, you know, be as a team. There's been a, a surge of swimmers from last year to this year. I feel like it's grown more as a sport. Patriot pool power comes with healthy habits. We swim almost three to four times a week for me, and I work out on the side, and my family is all about, like, eating really healthy, so we have that ability to eat well at home. We have two dry land and two wet land, so everyone's allowed water on practice. So we just remind everyone to make sure you're stretching, make sure you're drinking water, make sure you have a balanced diet at home. I mean, the practices are hard. It's a lot of swimming, it's a lot of work. The dry lands, they're not as hard, but it's still a good workout. The red, white, and blue knows exactly what to do when it comes to school. They're student athletes before anything else, so they need to make sure that they're on top of their school in order to be a part of this team, and that's really important, particularly being an old male athlete. We really pride ourselves on trying to get those grades up first and then participating. I try to do all my all my grades and poor stuff at school because I don't want to go home and procrastinate because if you procrastinate, you will not get some stuff in the swimming world. You have to be on time, on focus. If you miss one practice, it's going to cost you. High school, I learned that I have to stop procrastinating I have to do like my homework on the day they give it to me because if I put it off, it might like end up on the same day that I have a meet. I try really hard to make sure that I'm studying before and after practices. I know I've helped a few people on the team study too, so help tutor. I just, you know, just try to work as hard as we can being student athletes and trying to keep that balance. Use sports as like time management. Say if you have practice, be like, okay, I have practice this time. I'm going to use my spare time to actually get stuff done other than procrastinating. This Patriots swim team continues to make a kick and a splash with their school and community. It's awesome to see the differences that we have. Uh, the skill level is crazy from what we had freshman year. Uh, there's such more talent, and even if like the students that are starting less experience, we're able to see them grow even through the four years. Even if they've been on the team for one year, we can see so much improvement in them, and I think that's really what's great. It's one of my favorite sports to watch, and I'm glad that people are finally noticing it, and it's just being a part of other people's lives. It makes me feel great. 
you know, swimming helps me grow, grow friends, grow as a person. It's so fun watching them cheer for each other during the races and watching them beat their PRs and being like, we just beat this other team. It's not I beat them, it's we beat them kind of thing. So seeing that unity is really, really, really special. And that's why this team is so special because they care and they want to be here and they want to win. Like they want to represent Old Mill and they do such a good job of it. For Clayton Culp, Steve Gray and Eric Cloyd, I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air, maybe even with a splash in the pool, and another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletes in Action. <laughs>